All right, so we are up north. We are up at the French River. Pretty much as close to being off the grid as I like to get. We are here with um, just Reese. It's just Reese, Darren, and I. He came up for the weekend, and yep, I'm coming. And yeah, we are just enjoying some time away from the hustle bustle of everyday life. Mommy. Yeah. Um. I'm going swimming today. Yeah, you are. I'm a lucky girl, right? You are a lucky girl. Now there have been a couple times when people in my online community have actually given me some slack for going on weekend getaways when it's just Reese, Darren and I and feeling like we may be leaving my stepchildren out. And as much as that kind of makes me upset here, it's not actually the truth. So today in this video, I'm gonna share why we still go on weekend getaways and do things when it's just, you know, Reese, Darren and I and why we don't actually feel bad about it. And we don't, sorry, there's bugs, but why we don't think that you should feel bad about it either. Hi, Reese. Hi. Nope. Whatever comes, we will be just fine. If I am yours and you are mine. Charlie, to go over here. You drop out your bomb. Don't oh, mommy. Whoa. Oh. So the first reason is when my stepchildren go to their moms. Their life isn't put on hold. They get to do fun activities. They get to go on weekend getaways. They get to go on vacations. They do whatever it is that she wants to do with them. So their life's not put on hold. So why should she have to live her life on a week on week off basis, just waiting for them to return? It's just, it's not fair. And I feel like a lot of times in the step family space, people are so concerned about making sure that stepchildren feel like everything is equal for them without considering the fact that sometimes it's the ours baby that gets the short end of the stick. What? Vacation. Family vacation. Yeah, so the second reason why we don't actually feel bad is that we do lots together as a full family. So we have the same neck. Yeah, we have the same neck. So in a couple weeks, we are all going together as um, like the entire family. We're coming back up here. We're gonna have some quality family time, which a whole other piece is that my stepchildren are teenagers, so they don't want to spend as much time with us as this one does, right? Mm -hmm. On my special day, I had a bunch of breakfast. Oh, you're on a special day with mommy and daddy? I, I Charlie. Charlie. And then the last reason why we don't feel bad is one-on-one -on -one time. Like, it is so important when you have more than one kid to have one-on-one -on -one time with all of the kids, step or not. So, you know, you take the opportunity when you can. We're all about having one-on-one -on -one time with my stepkids when we get the opportunity and one-on-one -on -one time with this, with this girl. Right, girl? Yeah. Did you have a fun weekend? Yeah. Yeah, so it is what it is. You know, the thing is, when it comes to blended families and step families and all of that, often we, we catch ourselves overthinking everything and really kind of overanalyzing, thinking of worst case scenarios. And it's a good thing because you need to be empathetic. You need to put yourself in other people's shoes and think about the situation from their point of view. But the other piece is, is you know, this is your reality. This is your situation. So you have to make the best of the situation that you're in. And, you know, I think one of the things that my husband said once on our podcast episode, we were talking about managing all of the kids and having an Irish baby. And he said, you know, sometimes fair doesn't mean equal. And, you know, if you're in a blended family, I really encourage you to think about that. Like really think about what that means, because it's true. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen at our house that may not be equal for my stepchildren and for Reese just based on the amount of time that we spend with her versus them. But when you look at the big picture and their life at their mom's house and all of that, it really does kind of all even out. Say bye, girl. Bye. Get that puppy. Charlie, come on. Woo!